hello. This here is a little, uh, I hesitate to call it a tutorial. It's a description of versioning from Final Cut 10.3.2 at this point. <laughs> point. Meaning that uh, you may have a feature that has an English version, other language versions, or in this specific case, it is a TV spot that has a variety of different versions, both audio and video. Starts Friday, starts tomorrow, now playing. So that's all built here. Now this is assuming you've already done your mix and you either have stems or in this case, just the clips and they're mixed. So you have your rolls um, all nicely set up here. So you'd build it, starts Friday, now playing, textless. Then there's some body tags and internal tags, same deal, they all match. Uh, and then an end tag. Then you've got the same thing with narration, which I've set up here. The narration matches these things. In textless, there will be no narration. So the first thing you want to do, as I've done with the narration, is give roles to the proper things. I've set up some roles, and if you click this one and then you shift click down here, it'll just select that lane. Think of this as like a spreadsheet. If you click here, shift click there, it'll just select that lane. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, let's start here. We will give this the video roll of date. Then we'll do this, assign the roll of Friday, do this. Assign the role of now. So now we're all set up. And then we can expand these and see that we've got textless now, date, Friday titles. This is just the generic titles. Anything else that might be in the spot, common to, the, to every version. So we've got all our roles set up here. And then you're going to want to go up very quickly and make some share presets. So I've uh, added a share preset called versions, which has the correct... Uh, video and audio, 4 to 2, whatever you're going to do. Then you want to always do multi track QuickTime, even if you want to do it stereo comp. And then you want to make a bunch of presets. So in this case, we're going to have a date version, uh, now playing version, a f starts Friday version. All of those are going to be stereo comps with the correct video and audio portions, uh, slates, graphics, and tags. And then we're going to have a couple of mono splits, the textless version. Um, if you were to take, say, your stereo music and you export it as mono, Final Cut will adjust the audio properly. It will lower the levels so that your mix, if you do a mono split of something, your mix will be correct when played back in mono. So, what do we got here? I've saved a couple of these things. We've got a date comp generic split. So let's do the uh, Friday comp. I'll show you how to do that real quick. You uh, choose to save your roles as a multi track quick time movie. Then you want generic titles. You want the Friday slate and graphics. Then you want all your video and your mask layer, or whatever else you may happen to have that is common to every version. Then for your... Uh, audio, since this is the Friday version, you want all your dialogue, you want all your effects, this is going to be a comp, you want all your music, and then you want your generic narration, and then your Friday tag. Then you can get rid of this, this, and this. So there's a stereo comp with the Friday graphics slate and the Friday tag. Now what you want to do is save that as your uh, Friday comp. Then go ahead and go back to Multitrack QuickTime Movie. Let's make a, a mono split. Uh, so you want your titles. And let's make it textless. So you don't want those. So you've got just your textless version, which means you have no 
It's just very generic. Then you want all your video and your mask layer. Then here, you want to make this mono, mono, mono. And then for your narration, you just want the generic narration like that, mono. Now, if you needed to change the quote unquote track layout, so they want, you know, narration, dialogue, effects, music. Well, this is the wrong order. It's pretty easy. You just uh, go narration, turn off dialogue. Then you want to go to your dialogue, turn off effects, narration, dialogue, music, and then change this to effects and get rid of the narration. So there's your proper track layout. So if, uh, for instance, you need something that has a stereo comp, a stereo M&E, and then a, you know, a four-track mono narration dialogue music effects, that's how you do it. You, know, you, you may need to, let's say they want a stereo comp on channels uh, one, two, three, four, channels five and six. So you go ahead and do that, and then you put all your dialogue, all your effects, all your music, and your generic narration. So what you got here is a mono split on channels one through four, and then a stereo comp on channels five and six. You could keep going. You could add another audio track. And this is gonna be uh, stereo m &E. So all music, all effects. And then you would save this you can do whatever you want. I mean, this is just basically for, this is for this specific thing, but if you had an English version and you had you set up your roles as English, you would go, you would just want your English dialogue, then your music and effects. Same thing with your video. You would maybe want just the English version of your titles and all your video masks. So it's, it's very flexible. You are then done. You have made your default saving place, cancel, cancel. You're ready to do as many versions as you need. In this case, I just have one spot. Maybe there's different versions of this one spot. There may be a 15, a 30, a 20, a 10. They all have five different versions and there's five different spots. It adds up. Once you set up your presets and get your all set up, it's so freaking easy to do. You basically just go Command E to export, name the thing properly. Uh, if you've got a list of, you know, ISCII codes or whatever you need to do, you just copy and paste it. Um, in this case, I'll just call it uh, date. Then you go to your settings, go to date comp. What have I done here? I'm going to get rid of those. And then save it. So there's my date comp. Then you just hit enter, enter. And you go Command E to export Friday. Again, you might just be copying paste settings. Friday comp. Enter, enter, export. So you are done. Now you may want to use the new mixing capabilities built into Final Cut 10.3. I'm not going to go into that specific part. However, the exporting versioning is basically the same process. You would make your entire piece into a compound clip, which would end up looking like this. And there's a couple of things to note. If you have this set as roles, so maybe you want to mix all your roles, just all comped together. If you then go to export, you will see that when you go to multi-track QuickTime movie, you do not get the audio choices uh, for your sub roles. You will not see them. So you do not want to do this if you're versioning and you have different dialogue versions or different narration versions or whatnot. You always want to do it as sub roles. So there's your sub roles. And then the process is the same. You go to export, settings, multi-track QuickTime movie, and you'll see there you have all your options so you can make your splits or your comps or whatever you need. 
just as we did before. So it's really super easy. You don't need to build multiple sequences as in other NLEs. Say you have a stereo effects stem, but you need a stereo and a mono uh, track in your export. You don't need to duplicate it and lower the levels 3dB. It just does it. So you set up these presets and you, from one timeline here, that has just, you know, your narration, music, dialogue, and effects. You could build a split that has a stereo comp, a stereo M&E, a mono M&E, mono four-channel split just from one sequence. It's really, really super easy. And once you get your presets built, if you've got dozens of spots or whatever to export, it's really just a matter of, you know, command E, paste in the name, click, click to your settings, enter, enter done. You don't have to worry about, oh my God, have I disabled the narration for this version? Do I have the right graphics enabled? It's just, you've done it once and you're done. It's really great. And even if you don't use Final Cut 10 to cut in or mix in or whatever, which you should, get your mixed stems, split, bring them in here, build the versions and export them because it's like insanely easy. I mean, I've been doing this for a long time doing versioning for a long time. It's a pain in the butt. Final Cut 10, not a pain in the butt. Easy. So there you go. Hope this is useful.